Our space uh, for me um, is a weekly two and a half hour session of drama um, and drama related activities um, to, to facilitate my, uh, my help with my mental health. It's a safe space um, and it's, I, I look at it as kind of um, as part of a therapeutic recovery tool. I knew I wanted to do something different and I wanted to engage in something and I didn't want something that was typically therapy based and I definitely didn't want somebody something where we're sat around moaning and complaining about how life is difficult and challenging and hard because we know that just needed a place for a couple of hours to get away from that just for a moment's peace and that's what our space provides. It's very odd, it's very, very strange, yeah. I didn't like it at all at first. And I thought, well, like I say, you know, just, what is this supposed to be, like, you know? I found it really weird. I found it really embarrassing. I found it really awkward to put myself out there and put the voice out, but also do some of these things. When you first start, it's a, it's a, it's a terrifying world of um, performance and, position, and, and thinking about who you are as a person. Suddenly you think, I can't do this. But thankfully the way that the, the sessions are set up, especially with um, Jade and the other um, facilitators of it, they very quickly make you feel that it's not foolish. It's not foolish to be there. It's not something that is an embarrassment. It's not something that is a judgment upon you. It was quite a big chunk of time where I was lonely and isolated and I knew I needed to be around people to start moving myself forward. And coming here that and it, once a week for two hours, two and a half hours, however long it is, and I didn't even come to all of them because some days I couldn't. And it was just that one thing to come out of the house of, but it was that one, two hours in, in seven days where I smiled and grinned the whole way through to the point I walk out my face was aching. Whether it was smiling at other people and what they had done or, or I, I don't know what it is but like it was really quite powerful. Meeting people and socialising and you're mingling there and you get to know everybody and you get make friends as well and that's what I like. You socialise and you get enthusiastic once you've been starting it every week, you want to go all the time. This is the most exciting thing I had to stay for. It's, I've stayed on this for a long, long time, and I really love it and I really enjoy it. I wish they could do it like three times a week, our space, because <laughs> it's, just, it's just brilliant. It's absolutely fantastic. I love it. Even though it's just one day a week for two and a half hours, it's become a really important part of my week. It was really strange. I didn't think I'd ever miss making an idiot of, making a fool of myself, as I used to think of it. Now I see it more of a case of whatever the rest of my week is like, I'm going to have two and a half hours of freedom from the pressures and worries of everything else. My name's Clive. I've been selling a big issue for about on and off about 12 years. I've met people from all around the world outside the front door of the Theatre Royal Plymouth. And it's just a, a lovely place to be. I really enjoy it. And every day you're out there, I feel that a little bit of that theatre magic rubs off on me and uh, I become a better person for that. I started doing our space and I think that's about 18 months ago. Within nine months, I was um, uh, promoted to Project X which I really, really enjoy. It's a place where you can do a little bit more serious acting work and uh, you, can take, you can do bigger projects. Now, our space has been quite a revolution for me. Do you know what I mean? I, I, I come along with leaps and bounds and then when I got the chance to come to Project X, I leapt at it and I've really enjoyed it ever since. It, it's, um, it's, it, it's much more in depth, it's, it's harder to do. Um, you do things you'd never dream you'd do, do before. It's just a lovely place and it does you wonders, wonders of good for your, your mental health and your well-being. When you give up alcohol, you, give up, you have to give up the friends that you used to drink with. 
but most of our friends now are theatre orientated. As a, a member of Project X, we're, we're, and our space, we're very fortunate that we're, with the funding that come in from the big lottery fund, our space and Project X are able to give people tickets for a Thursday night normally at the drum and quite a few of us take advantage of that. For our space members and Project X members to get that free ticket and access to the theatre is really important because it, it, sh it really brings you into the theatre. It's a very enjoyable part of, of being in Project X and our space. There's very little opportunity to, for people to be able to express themselves sometimes. And this is a really nice way for people that, you know, at the start of this project, we're literally on the streets, in a sleeping bag, on cardboard, and in some awful situations and places. And now we're, we're, we're part of society. We're going to be putting on a production that people are paying to come and see. And it's, it's a wonderful thing to happen for all of us. We're really looking forward to it. Everybody's excited. We're all working really hard, and we're going to do a good job of it. My communication skills are, 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 are ten times stronger than they were. I'm learning to use my voice a lot more than, than I expected. Do you know I mean I, I'm more conscious? So I'm improving the quality of my voice. I'm improving the quality of which I, I can converse with members of the public and members of, of the theatre. So I, I'm improving it leaps and bounds really, and I'm really enjoying it. Every time I think of having, having a drink or anything like that, I think theatre. The theatre is my life.